All right, everybody, Rob Ferretti here, and I don't generally do car reviews, but uh, I was curious about this one. I got a guy from Long Island coming out, meeting me. He's got a fake cop car, essentially, and that's the guy you love to hate, and I sort of wonder what it's like to drive one of those things. So uh, we're about to find out. I wish I would have wore, like, a watch with a Velcro strap or something. The guy driving around the fake cop car. When I say a fake cop car, it's an actual police package on a Ford. Uh, you can pick them up at auction. This one's actually very low mile. You usually get them much higher mileage in the hundreds. Uh, this one was bought from an auxiliary police officer who bought it at auction. Uh, comes with the signature stuff that shows this is actually built for a police uh, department or some sort of law enforcement. It's got the nondescript hubcaps. It's got the push bar mounts on the front. Uh, no push bar, just the mounts. It's got dual lights. Uh, usually you just see the one light over there, but this one's got two. Uh, window tints, antenna mounts on the trunk, and even the roof. And yeah, so and this is essentially, they sell it as a package. Pre-wired, I mean, he's got some just random stuff in here. But the question is, you, you love driving down the highway, or hate driving down the highway, and having that guy you think is a cop, and it turns out not to be a cop. I'm gonna find out what it's like to be that guy. Got a little toggle there. Bright lights, no bright lights. Um, got the radio here. Standard dash. Nothing crazy, just a lot of uh, lack of creature comforts. Like, you don't see lights like that. Uh, missing consoles. But let's see how uh, let's see how people react to us on the highway, although I already know how they will. Let's see, let's go out this way. Here we go. <laughs> I haven't been in the front, front of one of these ever. This only works really like in America or I don't know, nations where cops would shoot you. It's really one of those things that everyone's so scared of getting a ticket. Cars like this just instinctually make us change our behavior, which I've done videos like that already. Now, what uh, is cool is being on the opposite side of that is everybody gets the hell out of your way. One of the biggest problems we have in the U.S. is people don't keep right ever. They don't, they, they just I like it in this lane. I think I'm going fast enough. I seem to be setting the reasonable speed here and people just have to deal with it. And that's why you see a lot of like passing in multiple lanes or, or any random lane is a passing lane. In the US, you don't get that when you go overseas. Everybody keeps right except the pass. They're better trained drivers. With this car, I don't think we're gonna need to worry about that. You get on this time. Yeah, yeah, I'm not worried about getting pulled over in this thing. Let's see, is everybody gonna move out the way because everyone thinks I'm a cop? And then just ride bumpers. This guy normally wouldn't move and it looks like he's from New York so he doesn't even give a shit anyway. Our driving etiquette over here sucks. Like it's just so disorganized. Jersey and New York is crazy. All right, you're going 75, that's against the law, buddy. also not fast enough for me, so get out the way. There you go. Thank you. See, they, the initial reaction is to slow down first, and then when they realize, like, I don't want to look guilty and just pull over, let me slow down, then I'll, as if I was just, like, in the mood to get off the next exit, I'll pull to the right. All right. Feel guilty. Start feeling guilty right now, buddy. I'm on to you. I know where you were last night. I know where you are right now and it's in the wrong lane. Get to the right. Thank you. There you go. Smart. Get out the way. Doesn't serve you any purpose to be in that lane. It's like I'm playing like street sweeper on the highway. I'm like, get in the right lane. That's where you belong.
also when people see other cars moving out of the way, they're like, well, I better move too, because like, that's probably a cop. Yeah, I get, I get like double sometimes. But see, that highlights a bigger problem. Like, the bigger problem is that maybe, yeah. like, people's, people's way of life should not change because there's a police officer present. That's what happens to, like, guilty people. Guilty people are like, oh, robbing a bank, everybody act normal. Like, if you just go into the bank, yeah. and just because a cop is there, you shouldn't act any differently. People act like cops here aren't human like they're Like, in yeah. other countries, they're just buddy-buddy friends and have a conversation. And not, not even that. You go down to Mexico, a cop will shoot you and take your wallet. But, <laughs> but it just, over here, we're not really afraid of walking by a cop on the street. We're afraid of driving by because they just, they randomly ticket as to, like, oh, whatever. Everybody's always breaking the law. The speed limits are not, they're set whatever 30 percent below what the pace of traffic is at all times so even if it's 25 miles an hour people are driving 35 or 40 if, if the speed limit is 50 people are driving 70 if the speed it just you'll always get that that the speed limits are set lower than the i think it's the 85th percentile or whatever it is and that's where the problem lies so now everybody's effectively guilty and when you see a cop you're like ah shit i got a ticket once for doing virtually nothing i'm not going to do it again all right, so not gonna lie, buying a car like that sort of makes you a dick. But I see why people do it. It's sort of, uh, it's sort of convenient. And there's a value there.